They say you can tell a lot about a person by taking a good close look at their hands and the shoes they wear. Most of the people I know in my life wear work boots and have pretty rough hands. I went this morning to remember a pretty good friend of mine. Most of you may know him if you've been watching. David Gillespie. He was here helping me for a few months uh, earlier in the year. and We did a lot of snaps together. I came in this morning. The first thing I saw were his gloves here, guys. He had work gloves that he had left here with me, telling me that he'd leave them here for when he came back to help some more. But, guys, I got a call this morning. And my buddy Dave is no longer with us, man. He was, uh, he's gone. And, uh, I'm just thinking about him. And they were work boots. And he had one of the firmest handshakes of any guy I've ever met. So, we're thinking about you, buddy. God rest. Rest in, rest in peace, brother. We'll miss you. We'll miss you around here. All right, so let's get this day started, man. We got stuff to do. We got an art show in a week. We got orders to fill. Let's get on. Let's get it. We got to make some bar stools. Let's do it. <laughs> First thing we'll do is get these cleaned up. And then we'll get up there and assemble them. And I'm struggling a little bit here, guys. While I'm down here on my knees, I think I'll do this. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I can. I cannot change. Courage to change the things that I can. And wisdom to know the difference. Amen. All right, so let's get over here and make some bar stools. <laughs> a little ir irony there, huh? I'm sitting here uh, remembering the first time I met David, and it was sitting up the hill over here at one of the local bars. <laughs> it's called the Mill Hill Saloon. And guys, I'll be honest with you, man. I used to spend a lot of time up there, but it's been a while, man. Back in 2008, the last time I drank a whiskey. Like so many others, man, I struggled with, with alcohol for many, many years. So it's one of those. And David's not the first friend that I've lost to that battle either. But every time I lose another one, man, it just it just drives it home. You are where you are in life based on the decisions that you've made. And if you don't like where you are, it's time to start making better decisions. And sometimes that's as easy as just saying no to that first cold beer. <laughs> So Dave, wherever you're headed, man, I hope I have a good, nice set of bar stools there for you, brother. Watch me here on Snapchat or YouTube or anywhere else online. If you're struggling with alcohol or drugs, call me. Send me an email. Shoot me a snap. Leave me a message. I'm here to listen, man. I've been through it. I've been there. I've been, th I've been down that road and back again. You gotta keep your chin up, keep on going, man. That's what it's all about. One day, at a, one day at a time. One day at a time. It's just that easy, guys. But I'm here. Let me know if I can support you in any way, man. So what do you say we spend the rest of the day back here in the metal shop and we'll make some more of these flowers? Alright, let's do it. Alright. All the fun, man. We pulled that up, but over in the wind picked 
up, but we got it on here. This is going to really be nice. All right, so these guys just gave us these flimsy little sticks. Welcome back. Welcome to LoveFurnitureHowTo.com. You guys ready to rock today? So we've got Dave here sanding. We've got Alex over here working on blocks. 